Welcome. So today's topic is kind of a tricky one. And that topic is reincarnation and abortion. So I have been meditating on this, this topic for, for some time now. And it was after a strong meditation about the soul energy inflicting its presence on manifest reality before the the f fetus or the conception has even happened within the host parents and um, so I really should probably pose this question to Christians that would be kind of interesting about reincarnation and abortion but um, I'm not here really for religious reasons, I'm here for consciousness reasons, for awareness reasons, and I want to as well raise my awareness, so I want to have more people meditating on, on these subjects so that we can collectively understand the right, right thing to do. Now, there's obviously never one one right thing because there is infinite possibility in the reality of the universe and there is infinite determining factors in in the reality of an individual life but there is the aspect of awareness so this is probably the most important aspect in reincarnation and, aware and abortion. It is the awareness of the host parents and it is the awareness of the pre-manifest physical form soul energy. Now you might think, oh well this, this has just come from the source, this, this has just left its unified connection with, with all that is light. And so this, this has the highest understanding. If it chose this family, it chose this family for specific reasons. But also then there's the whole overpopulation of Earth issue. So if we are unable to control and balance our ecosystems to handle the population of Earth, when the light is diffused and separated into physical manifest form, some aspects of the light are diffused and separated into very weak, unaware manifestations. So what, what would that have to do with a person who has been diffused and possibly a soul that has been diffused to lesser awareness? Would that have the same effect for an abortion possibility or an abortion case as a person who has, you know, higher awareness but is in college and is being pressured by social issues to believe that it's okay, that it's okay to abort this thing but it, then possibly this awareness inside of them as well as growing. So there's there's you know, infinite aspects that, that can affect the, the abortion and reincarnation. And the other thing is, yes, the soul chooses its host parents before the conception has even happened, before there is even a material existence of this, this energetic uh, being. Is, which is what we actually are in reality is these energetic beings. So, I, so it should make sense that before the material existence is in the physical manifest reality, the energetic potential has already attached itself to those host, fam those host parents. So what happens when the abortion takes place? That energetic potential was output by some sort of energy diffusion process that's much still beyond my understanding 
hopefully it's out there in the collective human consciousness that we can tap into this, understand this energy diffusion process more. But so, okay, this, this soul is released from the collective soul, the, the maybe heaven body you could call it, or the light body, the collective light universe body. And then it's diffused into this, this more chaotic manifest physical reality. So the abortion happens, and it just kind of recycles, and it will be diffused into a, a similar experience. Does that make it right? Mm. Yes and no. It depends, again, on various circumstances, and honestly, I don't know. That's kind of why I'm making this video. I threw some examples out there, and I kind of wanted to get some feedback. So, you know, we can meditate together on this, and kind of develop a higher collective consciousness of what to do in these situations because we do have past lives, we do have future lives, and we do have abortions. And so these are lives that are coming in and out of existence that didn't even exist. So this is just kind of crazy stuff. So I wanted to put that out there. Please leave questions and please leave um, insights and comments because really there's some personal things with my life involved in this, so I'm doing this extra personal work to, to understand these aspects so I can, I can put more truth into my um, responsibility and connection, relationship connection with, with these aspects of my life. So please do the commenting do the meditations, and you know, it will, it will help put some more ideas into the, the, the collective consciousness. Um, thank you. Also, a quick update on the lucid dreaming situation.